fam, that's what they call me I promise that you'll never be lonely Be the fam, that's what they call me y'all are pissed at me like this bitch she just make videos willy-nilly whenever she want to it's so much listen y'all are right it's been so much stuff going on that i ain't reported on and all type of stuff i had shit i had to handle like you know life goes on y'all don't realize how much how much this is like how much work this is to like come and entertain y'all and stuff and i know y'all love me i love y'all too you know what i'm saying i do my best but i don't think y'all realize how much work goes on into this you know what i'm saying i'm an independent woman and i edit i record i do all this shit by myself because i don't want no help and i don't want to pay nobody to do shit for me so anyway back to your regularly scheduled program all right, y'all. Today, I'm going to hit y'all with another episode of What's Really Good? Episode 11, y'all. We're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about what everybody is talking about right now. Everybody. Now, y'all know. I think y'all know. If y'all don't know, I'm about to tell y'all. I ain't really on politics like that. Because in my opinion, all politicians are liars. They say whatever it is that they have to say to get your vote. And then once they get your vote and they in office, they do a whole bunch of fuck shit. So they all a bunch of liars. Did y'all see that debate? Did y'all see that ghetto ass debate? Did y'all see that? That shit was an embarrassment. It's like... If I was an American and I was like in another country and I was watching this shit, I would be like, Americans are stupid. This is what they do. This is how they argue. Trump was like, <laughs> you know, like when you were in middle school, or like when you were in elementary school and people is fighting with you. And it, well, that's why you're not coming to my birthday party. Well, that's why I got this. Well, that's why my mama bought me the new Jordans. And that's why you shop at Walmart. That's what I, that's the vibe I got from him, like a kid, like a child. And Biden was just like the kid that's in the corner that don't know how to fight. I'm going to need him to be a little bit more aggressive. I'm going to need him to be a little bit more aggressive. I'm going to need him to like go for blood. Like, you know what I'm saying? Michelle Obama said they go, they, they go low, you go high. Nah, nigga, you need to go low. You need to go low. That dude was talking about your son. Talking about your son is on cocaine and he got kicked out of the army. No, my son did not. Like, that was the only... <laughs> I was like, Biden. Biden. What are you doing? You want to have to... I, man, y'all, if that was me, I would have been like one of them, them people that's in the corner, like, in the middle of a fight, instigating shit. Like, you want to let them talk about your son like that? Like, that's what I was doing. I was screaming at the TV, like, you want to let them talk about your son like that? And da 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 and then the fucking irony, y'all. The irony. This dude got on national TV. And after he did the little call out to the Klan. But are you willing tonight to condemn white supremacists and militia groups yeah. and to say that they need to stand down and not add to the violence in a number of these cities, as we saw in Kenosha and as we've seen in Portland? Sure, are you I'm prepared to, to do specifically that, do it? Well, I, go would ahead, say, I would say almost everything I see is from the left wing, not from the right so wing. So what, what, you you what are you saying? I'm, I'm willing to do anything. I want to see well, peace. Then do it, sir. Say I, it. Do it. Say it. Do you want to call them? What do you want to call them? Give me a name. Give me a white name. White supremacists and right like me to condemn? White Proud supremacists boys. and right Proud, Proud boys. boys. Stand back and stand by, but I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, somebody's got to do something about Antifa and the left, because this is not a right-wing problem, his this own is a left-wing problem. This said is a left-wing problem. Left After he did the, the, um, the roll call to the Klan, he clowning this nigga talking about, oh, he goes everywhere with a mask. He always walking around with it. He got like 1,500 different masks and blah, 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 blah. And then what happens two days later? Trump got the corona. And his wife got the corona too. Ain't that some shit? You sat here on national TV telling this, telling everybody this man. He first first you call the shit fake. 
and that it was a hoax and it's not real and all type of stuff. Bad enough. Bad enough. You should just stop there. Bad enough. But then you sit here and you clowning this dude talking about he always wearing a mask. He don't go nowhere without a mask. He got like 1,500 different masks. Every time I see him, he got on a mask. Will you who shut is up, your, man? Listen, who is your... I bet your ass wish you had a mask now. <laughs> but you know what, y'all on some real shit? What's going on with Trump? People are so phony. You got people that's on here talking about, oh, we wish him well, and we wish him a speedy recovery, and da 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 And then you got some people that's not giving a fuck that's really just like, well, I guess it ain't so fake after all. And blah, 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 blah. And everybody's like, well, it's the president. You shouldn't you shouldn't be wishing death on the president. And everybody should be wishing him well. Why be phony and why be fake? Why be phony and why be fake? Like, no. If that's how you feel, go ahead and say that. Because if the roles were reversed, he would do the same. He would do the same shit. I guarantee if Biden had got corona. He would have said some slick shit out of his mouth. Yeah, he would have wished him well, but I feel like he mad petty and he would have said some slick shit too. But what's even more fucked up is that they talking about they giving him a special cocktail to make sure that he, he has a speedy recovery and shit. And it was like, but where was this special cocktail with these millions of people that died from the virus you know what i mean people lost their mother and their father and they babies and kids and stuff y'all ain't had no cocktail for them like to me that's that's some fucked up shit and the fact that they came on national tv and said that that's what that's what they was doing it's like a slap in every american's face like nah y'all don't matter y'all don't matter unless you the president if you the president then we gonna make sure that you live but every all the other american people nah y'all remember when this shit first started how many people was dying in the hospital how many people couldn't go see their loved ones and hold their loved ones hand but you won't get this nigga a special cocktail bullshit y'all it's bullshit I don't have nothing to say about it. I ain't wishing death on him and stuff. It's just like, listen, I feel like that's God. Like, I feel like that's God. Like, you made a mockery out of people dying of this shit and all type of shit. And now God is, like, hitting you with the real. That's all. That's how I see it, you know? Like, Pharaoh. Y'all know Pharaoh in the Bible, you know what I'm saying? Where he was on some shit like, oh, well... Your God is going to do this and this and this and this. Well, I'm going to play God. Let, let, let's kill... Every Hebrew's firstborn son, starting with your son. And what did God do? God reversed it. It's like, like, okay, you you want to mock me? Okay, so this is what's going That's what I feel like. I feel like that's what's happening. It's like some feral army type shit. Now that we got that out the way. <laughs> Let's talk about Tory Lanes. You know what, y'all? The way I'm looking at it is. First of all, I still can't believe that there's people that still calling this girl a liar. Like, I still can't believe that there's people talking about she wasn't never really shot and all type of shit. And her back was turned, how she know it was him and all type of stuff. Like, I still can't believe that there's people that's still on that dumb shit. And then what make it even worse, this nigga decides to drop a whole album. Proclaiming his innocence. The way I look at it, dude, no matter what you say, you still a fuck nigga. You want to know how you still a fuck nigga? I'm going to tell you how you still a fuck nigga. Say you didn't shoot her. <clears throat> say you didn't shoot her. But you was there. So you know who shot her. That's number one. You know who shot her. And you not saying nothing. And let's say, for the sake of argument, you don't want to be a snitch. You don't want to, like, inform the authorities or anything. You know what I'm saying? All right. Okay. But you know who did it. And you ain't do shit. But drop an album and call her a liar. So you a fuck nigga. How you do some shit like that? And then drop an album proclaiming your whole innocence, right? I ain't heard the album, y'all. I don't want to hear that bullshit. Because to me, that's like when a nigga cheat on you. 
and tell you some shit like, listen, I make love to you. I fuck them other bitches, but I make love to you. That's like gaslighting. Nah, baby, I love you. And I lie to you because I love you. Like, that's some, that's, that's what that whole album is. That's some fuck shit like that. But you make a whole album. About how much you love her, how much you miss the way things used to be, how y'all used to talk and take trips together. Oh, my shorty, I miss her so much. Nigga, I got shot. I got shot in my feet. And you saying, hey, that you didn't do it, when I'm saying that you did do it, but you saying that I'm lying. Then you talking about how. I got shot and how it ain't hit no bone and how they ain't hit no ligaments and all type of all type of dumb shit. But bottom line is, either way, you fucked up because you was there. Just the fact that you was there, you fucked up. Cause whether you shot her or not, you know what happened. You know what happened, and you going along with with everybody else saying that she lying and stuff like that. And if you and like I said, if you didn't shot, if you didn't shoot her, you know who shot her, and you ain't doing shit. And that's supposed to be your shorty. Like if I'm your shorty, you supposed to protect me. Like you supposed to be looking out for me, whether we fighting or not. I always say that y'all. That's how you know when you got you a real nigga, even when he mad at you. Even when he pissed at you and y'all not talking and y'all not on the same, y'all not on the on the right, like y'all ain't on the up and up, that nigga's still gonna protect you. So either way, you a fuck nigga. That's the way I look at it. And you even more of a fuck nigga for releasing an album. Like nigga, really? You ain't say nothing because you wanted to release an album. Now we all know why he didn't say nothing. Like all of us were saying here, like, well, why this nigga ain't saying nothing? Why he not responding? Why he not saying that he didn't do it? And da, da, da. we all know why now, cause this nigga wanted to drop this so bullshit album. This gaslighting album. You a fuck nigga, sorry. You a fuck nigga. And I, you know, I was starting to like you. I was starting to like you with this mixtape that you that you dropped. I was starting to like you. But now, you just like all these other niggas out here. Like I said, when a nigga sit up here and cheat on you and talking about, oh, well, all I do is fuck them other bitches. But I make love to you because you my baby. You my Get the fuck out of here. And speaking of fucking other bitches and niggas cheating on you. <laughs> so my girl Cardi. Decides to finally um, file for divorce. She hands on that shit like a G, y'all. Like, she <laughs> she went and she's like, listen, it ain't got nothing to do with him cheating on me. It ain't got nothing to do with anything that was done in the past. I'm just tired of the shit. And, yo, that happens. I be telling dudes all the time, listen, a female will love you and put up with your shit, but for so long until she's just like, you know what? You, you, th there's no change in you. You're not going to change. And you know what's crazy? They had this video, right? They were showing this video of, like, him playing the game and checking his phone. And then, like, she came into the room and the nigga went and sat on the phone real quick. <laughs> huh? Oh, yeah, 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 right there. I'm moving. Yo. I want to ride this storm. We can do we can we can beam them as soon as they go up here, man. Okay. I don't have a like, mask. Yeah. They're gonna be over there. Right, we're we're right, right, right. Hi. Yeah, I see him, I see him, I see him, I see him. Bye babe. Alright, I see you, man. I love you. Love you too. <laughs> Look at you on it. Hey, I'm telling you. <laughs> Yo, I saw that and I was like, yo. They got all this money. He got all this money. She got all this money. They living in this mansion, this dope mansion, Louis bags, all Gucci, all type of shit. And you, even with that, you still got a nigga that do fuck shit like this. Like, and I feel like for her, it's like, yo, I was dealing with this shit in the Bronx. I was dealing with niggas cheating on me and doing me dirty in the Bronx. And you mean to tell me I got money now? And I'm doing good and I'm doing better than I was before. And I still got to deal with this shit. Nah. Nah, nah, nah. Nah. You know what I'm saying? He ain't said nothing. We ain't heard shit from Offset. You know what I'm saying? But, listen. 
You can only shit on a woman but so much before she just lose all type of love for you. And I ain't I ain't saying it in a way where like she don't love you because that that's her her baby's father. Like regardless, that's still he gave her her daughter. So she always gonna have some type of love for him. But at the same time, it's just like nigga, okay, is it you or is it me? It's gonna be me. That's why I'm single, y'all. Cause niggas be on some. I told y'all. Niggas be on some fuck shit. This is why females be on some fuck shit. Like, y'all see females out here doing some grimy shit, and you be like, what the hell? That's why. They feel like, they, they be on some shit like, listen, I got to get you before you get me. I know you about to break my heart. <laughs> I know you about to do me dirty. So guess what? I'm going to do you dirty first. But shout out to Cardi. You going to be all right, girl. This ain't this ain't nothing. This ain't nothing. You know what I'm saying? This This will pass. You know what I'm saying? Niggas is already trying to holler at her. You know what I'm saying? Niggas don't care. Like, like, are you single now? <laughs> Your ex-husband could could have died in a in a car accident or a plane crash, and they be like, "Oh, so, so what's good, shorty? You you about to pull up?" <laughs> so, this was so sad, y'all, and it affected me. Just because I done told y'all in some of my other videos that my mom um, has colon cancer. And I seen what it was like for my mom to have to go through that and fight it. And still fighting it. You know, even though she in remission. But, you know, she went through a lot of stuff. She went through a whole bunch of stuff like that. And to hear about Chadwick Boseman... That man was so young. What was he, 40, 41, 42? And to hear, first of all, to hear that he was fighting that shit while filming all these movies, while filming The Black Panther, while filming Get On Up. Get On Up is my shit, y'all. Like, granted, when I seen it, I didn't like it at first. Not because of anything that he was doing, not because of his acting, because that shit was fire. Like, that shit was fire. I just didn't like how they put it together. Like, I would have liked it if they would have put it together like the way they put together Ray. Like, how they did Ray. That shit was dope. But, like, I didn't like how they put it together. Because it was kind of confusing. You know what I'm saying? How they would jump to this and then jump to that. And then jump to his childhood and then jump to this and then jump to that. You know, it was kind of confusing. So, it was sad, y'all. I was sad to hear about that. But I read yesterday... I don't know if it's true because, you know, media, they see something and they run with it. And it don't even have to be true. Um, his wife was spotted, um, somewhere. I don't remember. At some store or something like that. And she had on, like, a, a, some jeans and t-shirts. She was dressed down. But they claim they saw a baby bump. That's what they claiming. So his wife might be pregnant right now with his baby. I don't know, y'all. I don't, that, that's what they saying. That's what they saying. If that she is, that's nice. You know what I'm saying? That's nice. It got to be hard, but that's nice. You know what I'm saying? If they, I hope it is true because, you know, that would be nice or whatever. And now they're talking about, you know, what we're going to do with the with the Black Panther 2. All right, I'm going to tell y'all. This is, this is my thinking. If it was me. So being that um, King T'Challa is dead, right? And they got them little them little things that they could bring people back in the in light, bring people back to life. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Put them in the sand and bring them back to life. The little purple flower and shit like that. I say they give that to my husband. Because my husband, Michael B. Jordan, the killmonger, my husband is a part of the family. You know what I'm saying? He was a little, you know, put off because of what. You know, his uncle had did to his father. But, I mean, he's still family. So, this is my thinking. Put that nigga in the dirt. Put that nigga in the ground. And give him the little, you know, give him the little drink. And bring his ass back to life. And then he's, like, he's a king. And he's and he's good now. He's not mad no more. And all that stuff. And carry on the legacy. Or, if not my husband, then his sister. Make his sister, put his sister in power. Because that would be dope. You know what I'm saying? Especially everything that's going on with them saying how, which is true, how black women are protected. Even though I was talking to um, one of my coworkers, and my coworkers were saying, yeah, black women are um, the most not protected people. Yes, that's true. But what about black gay men? 
that's true too. I got I had to give it to him. I was like, yeah, I had to give it to you. That is true. But that's for another video. But I think that that would be dope if his sister, if they let his sister come back and be like, you know, running shit. That'd be so dope. She was smart. I mean, she was inventing all this shit. You know what I'm saying? She invented his um his little outfit. You know his. You know what I'm saying? She invented all this. Shit. Why not? Why why she can't run shit? I think she can run shit. That'd be dope, y'all. If not my husband, her. But yeah, rest in peace to Chadwick Boseman. You know what I'm saying? That was so fucked up and that was so sad. I feel for his family and stuff like that. But that'd be a dope. I think that'd be a dope Black Panther too. Um, what else can I talk to y'all about? A lot of this shit is like old news, y'all, because I haven't reported on. The well, nothing. So a lot of this shit is like old shit, and I ain't really gonna talk about it. Um, let's talk about Jaguar Wright. Now, I didn't know who Jaguar Wright was. Come to find out, she is. If y'all ever seen um, Jay Z's Unplugged on MTV, was it Unplugged? Y'all know what I'm talking about. When he was performing with The Roots on MTV or whatever like that. So, she was the one that was singing, you know, the song Cry. She was singing Ain't No Love in the Heart of the City. Ain't no love in this heart of town. That, that was her. That was Jaguar Wright, apparently. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know who she was, but I was like, oh, that bitch can sing. Okay, so she used to perform with The Roots. I always wonder, like, I always wonder, because these people be chilling, like, they be chilling, you don't hear nothing about them, and, and then all of a sudden, they come out with all this shit, she start, she came out last week, just dropping videos, one after the next, and back to back to back, she was talking about how she saw, um, What's that dude named Christopher Williams? You know, don't wake me, I'm dreaming. The epitome of a light skinned nigga in the 80s <laughs> and the 90s. Him and I'll be sure. The epitome of fucking light skinned niggas. It was poster boys for light skinned niggas. But she talking about how she had a friend walk in on him sucking Diddy's dick. Now, granted, everybody been saying that, that that Diddy been gay for the longest time, that he likes to partake in, in fellatio, with men giving him fellatio. You know what I'm saying? That that ain't nothing new. But Christopher Williams, like... And, they, and she said that he did it for a demo deal. Not even a deal. He was sucking dick for a demo deal. Then she said Mary J. Blige is a whore. Then she said Jill Scott is a whore. Then she said Jennifer Lopez did some shit. Then she said Tevin Campbell was, was selling his ass and his booty hole on Hollywood Boulevard. Correction, because I know that story. Tevin Campbell was not selling his booty hole on Hollywood um, Boulevard. He was trying to get ass. He wasn't selling. He was buying. Like Eddie Murphy. How Eddie Murphy got caught trying to sell some, trying to buy some ass on Hollywood Boulevard. And it turned out to be a prostitute, a male prostitute and all type of shit. Well, Seven Campbell was on that same shit. Which I don't understand because you Seven Campbell, like what female back in the day, you know what I'm saying? Even though he, he was a little, you know, a tambourine player. <laughs> That's what they were saying. But <laughs> what female wanted to get you no pussy? You know what I'm saying? So I don't understand why you had to be out there. But I know that story and he wasn't apparently and he's been honest about it. Like, no, I no, I was looking for some ass and I was trying to buy some ass. So but she was saying he was trying to sell his dick on Hollywood Boulevard, and he was on crack, and he was on cocaine, and all type of shit, and it's like, chick, where are you coming from, where are you coming from with all of this, I ain't saying she lying, I'm just saying, why are you coming out, and you know what, when it comes, when it comes out like that, like, when you release shit back to back to back to back to back, it's like, you going for attention, you know what I'm saying, it ain't like, you know, you happen to be do doing an interview about this, and then this happened to come up, and you talked about it, it's like, that's why people ain't believing her. That's why people was basically calling her, you know, saying that she on some bullshit. 
because of the way it's coming out. I don't know, y'all. <laughs> she got a problem with Jill Scott talking about sucking dick. Why Jill Scott can't talk about sucking dick? Why can't any female talk about sucking dick? Why everybody always got a problem with females talking about they suck dick or they like in a box eating or they like fucking niggas? Like, why is it a problem? You need to get your pussy eating, maybe. <laughs> Let me stop because she watches, <laughs> she be watching YouTube videos and I do plan on tagging her in this video because I'm talking about her. Listen, sis, I'm not saying you lying. I'm just saying that you need to come about it in another way just because motherfuckers ain't believing you just because of how you doing it. It's coming back, back to back to back to back to back. Oh, by the way, this happened. Oh, by the way, this happened. Oh, by the way, this person does this. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, if you want people to believe you, maybe you don't care about people believing you. I don't know. But listen, that, that sh <laughs> Tevin Campbell. <laughs> Chris Williams. Sucking Diddy's dick. To each his own, y'all. To each his own. But yeah, that's what was going on with Miss. Jaguar right sis you talented you don't even need to be doing all of this what else has been going on y'all I got some shit on here about Tahiri I don't even want to talk about Tahiri because you know what <sighs> let me tell y'all something I told y'all in my last video when I mentioned her in the whole vital situation how it's already out there and it's already a, a thing oh women from up north like to fight Women from up north is disrespectful. Women from up north, like, like they rude and, and they fight niggas and all type of stuff like that. It's already being put out there. And I already told y'all that we're not aggressive. We're not aggressive. When you a female and you living in New York, if you raised in any of the five fucking boroughs, you cannot be on some bitch shit. Like, that's all it is. And it's it's embedded in you from your moms, from your grandma. For if it's, it's embedded in you. You cannot be on some cornball, weak, feminine shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? A nigga trying to rob you. You can't be sitting there like, oh, no, please, please don't rob me. Uh -uh, no. You can't do all that shit. Nah, you got to go for you. Like, you got to protect yourself. And uh, You can't, like... The cost of living in New York, you can't let niggas just rob you. You can't let niggas come in, move in with you, and do you dirty and all type of stuff like that. It's not being aggressive. It's not being aggressive. It is to a certain extent being aggressive. It's just we more vocal. That's all I say. It's not us being aggressive. It's not us being rude. It's any, any person from New York, any person from up north. It's just that we vocal. We more vocal. You know what I'm saying? And if you're not from there, you're not going to understand. But we we vocal. That's all it is, that we vocal. And if you're from a place where females is quiet and they don't really say much and, you know what I'm saying, a nigga say, this is how it's going to go down. And she like, all right. You know what I'm saying? And then you meet somebody like me and he be on some shit like, like bitch, tie your shoes. Not, nigga, tie my shit for me since you're going to tell me what to do. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's not... <laughs> I'm not aggressive. I'm just vocal. And I get upset when people say that. Because it's just like, what are you what are you saying? Like, you going to let... Honestly, are you as a man, female, anybody, no matter where you from, are you as a human being going to let somebody come in your life and disturb your peace and you not going to say nothing? You going to sit there and allow them to do shit like that? No, you not. You know what I'm saying? Now, you want to tell them to get the fuck on. Now, I, you might say nicely, can you please get out of my face? Like, can you please not talk to me? Not me. I'm going to get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck on. Like, you not about to come over here and disturb my peace. Now, we both said the same shit. We just said it differently. <laughs> but anyway, Tahiri is basically saying that Joe is the one that um broke her nose. And this nigga is like, oh, you're a liar. You abused me. And I told y'all, I feel like they abused each other. Like, I, same thing with Vado. I feel like they abused each other, you know? And 
I told you I, I do not approve of women hitting men. Like, I can't stand that. And, like, I feel like a lot of females be doing that shit because they live by this unwritten rule where it's okay for me to hit you, but you can't hit me. Nah, listen, you rock a nigga shit, a nigga got a right to rock your shit. That's how I look at it. Like, if you, if you want to be a man, if you want to be a man... And you want to throw hands with a nigga that's twice as big as you, way, way more than you do, bitch, you won't have to suffer the consequences. Oh, it's ignorant to say that. It's ignorant to say that, you know, because um, a woman hits you, you got to hit her back. Why? Why? <laughs> why? Nobody can answer that question. Why? Oh, because it's a female. It's not going to hurt as much. You know what I'm saying? A female hits you, that shouldn't even hurt you. And da 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 da. Okay, that's true. But even still, as a female, you shouldn't feel like you get, you know, you 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 get a pass because you're a female to sock a nigga in his face. Like, nah. So she was basically saying that, you know, Joe was the one that broke her nose. And Joe said that she a liar and that this is what she do to get her atten to get attention. Jonathan from Love and Hip Hop came out and was just like, bitch, stop mentioning my name and stop bringing me up. Because apparently she brung him up in the whole um, Jason, Hollywood Unlocked. She brought him up and all type of like, bitch, stop mentioning my name. And, da -da 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 -da. and I seen you fight niggas. And I seen you fight this and this and this and this. Then they brought Sin into it. And Sin got Joe's... Um, son so she was like don't bring me into it and then conversations was leaked about you know her saying oh you want to drag me again you want to drag me down the stairs again and then she came and she was like nobody is going to break up my family all right nobody is going to break up my family this is my this is my baby's father nobody is going to break up my family i don't know who released those tapes okay <laughs> Okay. Okay. It's a mess, y'all. Anyway, that's basically all I got, y'all. I'm sure there's some other shit that I could talk about, but if anything, I'll do a part two. Uh, I'll do a part two. You know what I'm saying? I know that y'all really don't like my videos to be that long anyway. But like, comment, and subscribe, y'all. If you love your girl, because you know I I love the love. Send me a comment. Drop me a comment. You know what I'm saying? Hit on my social medias. I'm going to put them here or whatever like that. Also, y'all. Um, typically you're not supposed to wear a white shirt when you filming. It doesn't look good on camera. Like, it doesn't translate good on camera, but I haven't really had a problem with it. But, um, y'all check out my boy's, um, clothing line. Them good vibes. Let me show y'all. Them good vibes. You know what I'm saying? This shirt, y'all. Let me tell you, if you a big titty bitch like me, y'all know it is very hard to, um, find shirts. <laughs> Especially V-neck shirts. It is so hard. But this right here, as Barbara Streisand would say, is like butter. <laughs> it's like butter. It feel good on your skin. It's comfy. You know, my side boob can breathe. And all that. My arms can breathe and all type of shit like that. But yeah, go check out my boys on clothing line. You know what I'm saying? Usually, I don't really um promote nobody. Because I ain't getting paid to do it. <laughs> Eventually, eventually, you know, when I start um getting a little bit more subscribers, I might, you know, start charging people. But, you know, this is my boy. It's a black owned business and I love him. You know what I'm saying? He's always showing me a whole bunch of stuff. So, you know, I just I just realized I had the shit on. So I was like, hey, why not? I'm going to um, insert the link in the description, y'all. So, you know what I'm saying? It's mainly for men. Well, it's men and women. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is a man, a man size shirt. But it's just comfortable. Like I said, if you a big titty bitch like myself and you want a comfortable shirt, hit up my boy at Them Good Vibes, okay? Um, yeah, y'all. Check out my new segment that I just posted. Um, my Let Me Put You On segment, you know, while I'm putting on my makeup and telling y'all, <laughs> telling y'all little stories. Tell me what y'all think about that if y'all want me to keep doing it. I'm going to keep hitting y'all with the videos, you know what I'm saying? Yes, I know. I need to get better at it. You right. You right. You right. All right. All right. You right. I need to get better with it. I know that y'all be missing me. I'll be missing y'all too. But <clears throat> life still goes on, y'all. Life life don't stop. You know what I'm saying? Until this shit start paying me. And I start getting rich. And I move into my mansion. 
and have me a bunch of hoes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Y'all just got to wait till I drop my shit. But I'm going to try to put myself on a schedule to where I can drop shit for y'all. For y'all to enjoy. Yeah, y'all like, comment, and subscribe. I love y'all. And I'll see y'all in the next one.